Hey guys and welcome to Architects 3D Printing. In this video I am going to show you how to get Rhinoceros 3D, the 3D modeling software both for Windows and Mac OS for free. Rhinoceros 3D or Rhino is a very powerful 3D modeling software that I've been using since my second year of my architecture studies that was 7 or 8 years ago and I used it mostly for 3D architecture visualization and now also to create 3D models that I print with my 3D printer even the intro animation was created using Rhino Rhino is very powerful as well as intuitive and very easy to learn you can use the graphic icons that are located in the toolbars or you can also work with keyboard commands Working with keyboard commands provides you a faster workflow and they are easy to remember as you spend time using the software. In my personal case, after a couple years of use, I started using almost always keyboard commands, what made my workflow a lot faster. Remember that if you want me to make some tutorials about tips and tricks of using Rhino, you can let me know in the comments section down below and I will work on that. Originally Rhino was only available for Windows and now it's also available for Mac and even iOS. Although it is also available for the Apple platforms, the Windows version is much much powerful. And most of the plugins are only available for Windows, like V-Ray for making awesome renderings and Grasshopper that allows us to make parametric designs. So I usually work in Rhino for Windows, but sometimes I use it on Mac to make simple designs or quick modifications. In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Rhino in the Mac OS version. If you are a Windows user, I have uploaded a video with the same process for the Windows version of Rhino. Just click here in the top right corner or in the link of the description and it will bring you to the video with the complete guide for Windows. To start we will open our web browser and we will navigate to rhino3d.com. Now we will click on download and in the right column we will click on the first link that says Rhino 5 for Mac Evaluate. Here you will write your email and after clicking next, you will receive an email with the download link and the license that we will copy to the clipboard to use during the installation. This license will be valid for 3 months. This is the perfect time to test the software and learn to use it. After the 3 months, if you like the software, you can decide if you want to buy a license or just install a cracked version, something that I do not support. Anyways, if you want to get the software in a not legal way, you can click right here in the top right corner or in the link in the description where you will be directed to a video that explains how to get the software without paying for it. Once the file is downloaded, we will open it and we will start with the installation. Here we will choose English and click Agree. Now it's opening the disk image and once finished, we will drag and drop the Rhino icon to the Applications folder. Now it will copy the software to our application folder in our Mac. Once it is complete, we can delete the disk image and we can eject the virtual disk. Now we will go to our Applications folder and we will open Rhinoceros. And here we will click Open. After a few seconds, the license window will appear. Here we will introduce the license that we copied from the email. Now we can see that our Rhino license is valid for 90 days. We will click Open Rhino, New Model, and we will have to introduce the email that we used to obtain the license. Now we will click Skip Register and it will say that the validation was correct. Alright, so here we have our Rhino 3D software installed and running in our Mac OS machine. Now you can start playing with it and start making your awesome 3D creations. If you click here, you can see more examples of what you can do with Rhino and the 3D printer. Remember that if you are interested in some initiation tutorials or guides to learn how to model in 3D, you just have to leave a comment down below and I will work on that. I hope you guys found this video useful and hit the like button if you liked it and also subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Instagram or Twitter at Architects3DP to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. See you on the next video.